Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Greeting friends, Easter greetings from Mount Angel, where we are thinking of you. I hope you are feeling the Easter joy. I know that the news is still heavy and hard, and yet Christ crucified and risen is with us in these days, pouring out his life into the world, his new life into the world. I know he's invisible. Darn it, we might be inclined to say, but why is the risen Lord invisible? Because He's living his risen life within us. He is the living force, the hidden living force in everything alive. He is the secret life of every person who has ever lived, who is alive now, and whoever will live. Christ is risen. He is our Lord. Here we are in the Easter octave. Do you remember what an octave is? Uh, Catholics have a word for everything. I love that. An octave is eight days of one feast, and the church celebrates a Christmas octave and an Easter octave. That means Christmas Day is not enough. You've got to have eight days of celebrating. Same with Easter. Easter Day is not enough. Easter in the liturgy lasts for eight days. And we're in the middle of that now. I hope these days are a blessing to you. And one of the things you can do if you, if you can't go to church, like most of us can't in these days, the monks are going, but, but every day in the liturgy at Mass, a different gospel account is read uh, of one of the Lord's resurrection appearances, so that through the eight days, every resurrection appearance of the Lord will have been read. Why not do that in your homes? Just find what's read on each day and and see what's there. I was struck by this in Tuesday's Gospel, which tells the story of Mary Magdalene seeing him in the garden, seeing the risen Lord in the garden, but thinking he's the gardener. And then she recognizes him when he says her name. And he says, do not touch me. She's going to embrace him. And he says, do not touch me. And I thought, Wow, that sounds like COVID-19 instructions. Don't touch me. Don't touch surfaces. Don't touch your face. Don't touch. But that's not Jesus's don't touch me. Jesus's don't touch me is to say, hey, it's a whole new realm. It's not like before. It's more. If you touch me as one other, one thing, you don't understand resurrection. Resurrection is the Lord's life invading us entirely through the universe. Happy Easter, everybody. The monks of Mount Angel are thinking of you, praying for you. Bless you.